Well, it was once a hot spot for live music and sports in the North Metro area and a huge anchor mm -hmm. of a development project. Yeah, these days, though, Broomfield's first bank center has become a financial drain on the city and the council is now moving forward with a plan to tear it down. The arena first opened in 2006 and can hold 6,500 people for events. But there haven't been many events there over the last few years. The building needs more than $5 million in repairs alone. Your reporter, Alan Janay, shares a lot of housing and businesses open nearby because of that arena. And now they're waiting to see what comes next. A Tuesday evening at Vinca European Cuisine Restaurant, a few hundred feet from the First Bank Center. The wine is poured, conversation ignited. For co-owner Czech immigrant Tomas Zetlokal, the end for the First Bank Center is kind of a shrug. Not much you can do about it. No, there's nothing I can do about it, and I understand. When he and his partner opened in 2020, the people in charge told him the center's events would be a draw. And they were telling you what? And they were telling me that they have uh, like roughly 50 events per year. But then the reality is different, but that's how it works in life sometimes. Back when the Broomfield Events Center opened in 2006, the original managers and promoters showed off the comfy seats, the new generation scoreboard, and the suites. Come here, you'll say, wow. Musical acts came and went. The poor acoustics were upgraded. The name evolved to the First Bank Center. It's never been really much of anything. Certainly not iconic. Did you ever go to anything there? Nope. I've and only you live next door. I've lived next door for two years. Alan Janay reporting for us. Well, the city of Broomfield says it looked at other options and found that repurposing it as a convention or office or some other space is really just going to cost too much. On Tuesday night, the council decided to move forward and seek bids to take it down next year. That too is going to cost millions.